WCSM's General Store is recorded at 787 Studio. Christine Flynn, your local firm's insurance agent. For Good Reasons Roofing, your local hometown roofing specialist. The a and &E Group, for all your technical needs. And by Sanders Insurance, your local independent insurance experts. And now, WCSM's crew. Good Friday afternoon to you. It's time for WCSM's General Store. Thanks for joining us today. Do you have a top fans? I didn't ask you before. I the do. Show. Okay, let's hit those real quick okay. before we get to top get to go fans in. This week, uh, Ronnie Deckard coming in at number one with yes. 128 points. He's on an 11 week streak. Wow. So thank you, Ronnie Deckard. Jane Hanser, Jeremy Williams, always there for us. John Hooker still on the list. Jackie Ratz, Evan McGinn, Fritzy Phillips, Robert Lutz, Rob Hamros. Danny Chipwood, John Baker, and Michelle Pritchard. Very good. Jeremy Williams, um, great, great guy. And uh, he was a, also a faithful listener to the radio stations when I worked there. But um, he's a good friend to have because he always makes sure everybody knows that it's your birthday. He would call in every morning, someone's birthday. It was so sweet. But it's nice. Uh, I noticed he, he mentioned on our podcast a few weeks back, um, how can I how can I become a top fan or how can I'm like, just keep <laughs> engaging with us, Jeremy. Yeah, so he's definitely. up there. So yeah, he's, uh, he's third with 109 points. So well done there, Jeremy. And if he still likes the audio, the, the radio side of things, yeah, uh, we're on Spotify yes, and Apple iTunes and Google. Yeah, so if you just like to listen, wherever you get your podcasts, yeah. sure, that's, that's where we are. All the so, platforms, yeah. all the things. Yeah. So if you'd rather <clears throat> Very good. listen and mm -hmm. not see. I'm a I'm a podcast watcher. Like that's really I don't watch television at all. I mean I watch some movies or series on Netflix, but yeah. for the most part my time is filled watching. I've got about 3 or 4 favorite podcasts mm. that I watch and I I love them. So really? yeah. it's fun it's fun to also be on a podcast. So thank you. Is for, this one uh, of your favorites? It's it is one of my favorite. I do actually go back and watch our shows and and laugh while I'm watching it. it even, you know, even We're though really I know funny. what happened and it's like, you know, <laughs> that's pretty funny. And so, uh, yeah, I really do en enjoy this and I enjoy podcasts. So, um, this is going to be, this is going to be one of our quintessential, this is like when Cop Talk back in the day when we were on radio, we always said we were kind of like a Seinfeld show because uh, we, oh, we would, <laughs> now in the beginning we were very serious on oh. Cop Talk. We were very serious. We were talking right. about state law or you know right. all the things and then week three but and then by week three <laughs> exactly it went completely off the rails and really never got back on and so basically by the end it was really a show about nothing but those seem to be some of our listeners favorite shows you know wow. what i mean so we always enjoyed them this is going to be fun. one of those so i have to admit i have I had TikTok, and then I deleted it, and then I got it again, and now I'm, I'm not going to say I'm on TikTok a lot, but I've been on it enough to kind of go down that rabbit hole of mm -hmm. influencers. So TikTok influencers are making like mega bucks. Like it's crazy how much money you can make on that app. And anyway, so there's a girl on there. Her name's Kylie Pitts. Kyla Pitts. She's from, I don't know, Mississippi or someplace. Uh, and so she, it's now, it's the Kylie Pitts coffee. How she makes her, basically it's a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom. She's 20, got a toddler, hmm. um, and she cleans her house and gets up, makes her coffee first thing in the morning. Well, now everybody is <laughs> like going on and on about her coffee, and everybody's making the coffee. Are you coffee drinkers at oh, all? Oh, yeah. You are? I, oh, yeah. That's why I'm here right now. That's why I'm awake right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you drink it throughout the day. Oh, yeah. How many you got in you right now, Carter? Uh, five shots. It, yeah. Does, you, are, does that do this? Does it oh, make your sure. heart? Oh, sure. I mean, my heart's beat through my chest, but I'm awake. That's a big thing. It's been a big week, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been good. So <laughs> do, are you a, a coffee drinker? I have not taken that plunge yet. I heard once you do it... Yeah, you're There's addicted. No going yeah. back. So it's kind of, kind of like methamphetamine or something. Right. It's, you, you drink, what, it is kind of what coffee is. Yeah. Do, you, do the two of you feel that you could quit at any time? I can. 
Yeah. You, you can. Oh, yeah. You could. So with, with he's lying. Mike said you're lying. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike knows you, so I'm going to go with Mike on this one. I'm sorry, Carter. Yeah, he maybe. can quit anytime he wants, Mike. Anytime I die, I can quit. <laughs> <laughs> the very moment. Well, I, um, I'm not a coffee drinker, like traditional coffee drinker. I'm a... A drinker that has a little coffee in it, <laughs> you know, like my coffees are the sweet uh-huh, stuff. You know, yeah. you make it at home. Yes, okay. and, and but not in a coffee pot. Like I'm not at, like I'm not going to do black coffee with a splash mm. of uh, milk or creamer and a little sugar in it or whatever. That's like real coffee to me. My right. mother and my brother both drink like black coffee. I couldn't do it. But now I like the I like the bitterness of coffee in a sweet coffee drink like a mm. frappuccino or an iced coffee but i i just want the uh, just a bare minimum of the bitter mm-hmm. but this kylie pitts coffee i have to and i love sharing stuff that i find that i really like i like sharing it with other people whether or not everybody else will like it and i'm guessing that some of our uh, viewers or listeners may already do this but it's instant coffee Ew. Now, I know, right? <laughs> that's, that's, no, Mike says absolutely not. <laughs> but it's instant coffee. Now, what she uses is like um, like a Nescafe, the, like hmm. instant coffee like my grandparents used. To, it's the like the mm. chunks or the mm. granular, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I found a, um, which I'm not the only one because it's also going around TikTok and you can't find it anywhere. I don't know how I walked into Kroger and there was one on the shelf. I don't know how that happened because you can't find, they're sold out everywhere. Like even Amazon, if you order it, it's going to take you like hmm. 30 days or more to get it. They're just, this TikTok has just created this whole craze. But this is an instant espresso. Hmm. So and it's, it's really, really good. So my problem was for about 10 years maybe, I was going to Starbucks every single morning. I would get up every single morning. And when I first started going, you know, it was five bucks because that's what Perry would always call it. Five bucks instead of Starbucks. It's not that anymore. It's it's upwards. It's almost eight dollars now for the drink I get. And the cups got smaller. Like I used to get I would get the tall, which is the smallest one. And, you know, they were they were like that, you know, Mm -hmm. like they would sit like I put them in my cup holder in my truck. It was you know, an inch or so above. Now the tall cup sinks down in and I can barely grab the dome lid on the Starbucks cut. So it's gone up to almost eight and it's lost, I don't know how many ounce, fluid ounces. Mm-hmm. And so for the past, oh, I don't know, year probably, I've been trying to not go. I've been, you know, because I was spending, Ooh, right? Yeah. I mean, I was spending. And God bless Perry, you know, he... <laughs> He enabled. He, didn't, he let you do he it. Didn't, he didn't tell me I had to quit, <laughs> but it finally got to the point. It's like, this is ridiculous, because I did the math on it, and it was like, <laughs> that's what I'm spending a month on getting coffee every morning. So I tried to, you know, I was weaning myself off, but I do love that sweet, cold coffee. And so, and over the years, I've been trying to find a way to make it at home that was comparable, you know, so I could quit right. going. And we, I could just never <laughs> find that mixture at home. Perry, even one year for Christmas, bought me, like, a thing to make actual, like, cold brew in. Oh. And he bought me all the syrups and all the things because he also wanted me to make it at home. <laughs> so he's trying. Yes, he was trying. <laughs> trying. That was his subtle right. uh, suggestion. <laughs> and then, like, a friend of mine went and bought one of these great big espresso oh, machines. Yeah. And they're like 800 bucks. And Perry was like, go buy one because that's going to be cheaper. Yeah, you spend that in half a year. (laughs) Exactly. And so he's like, I never did, I never jumped and went and bought one of those. So, like a couple weeks ago, I finally found the um, instant Nescafe Gold Espresso. And I use the blonde, there's a blonde and an intense. It is so good. I can't even tell you guys. Do you now, have some victory music bed for I mean, it's just kind of like my whole Diet Coke I'm just thing. I'm trying to keep up here. 
I, I, you kind of lost me at blonde and what was the other one? Intense. Intense. That's the two. I, I feel like those are like roasts or whatever. Lipstick shades, but, but we're it's talking like coffee here. we're talking coffee. Okay, but it's it's a it's an espresso. Uh-huh. It's a ground espresso, and so you just like put your couple of teaspoons in your cup. I mean, I got all the things too, right? I got the frother, you know, which is a little whisk that's battery operated and it froths. It's like I've got Starbucks in my li- in my kitchen. It's am I excited? I think but, I'm excited. I just love to hear you say froth. This is instant <laughs> coffee. Frother. You're you're talking about the, like Sanka stuff. Yes, like, like warm dirt. We used to call it. Yes, but it this is just <laughs> no. This is better than that. But yes, okay. it's still an instant. The best part of waking, waking up. up. Is instant Nescafe <laughs> in your cup? <laughs> I try. It's nes- it's Nespresso is what I call Nespresso. it. Nespresso. It's Nespresso. But okay. so I so use. So who's this Kylie girl? Her name is Kylie Pitts <laughs> on um, TikTok. Okay. And she is making a buttload of money and influencing people like me, dragging us down the rabbit hole. Wow. Okay. But I can't t- I can't tell you how excited I am about this. But I then I went did. and bought I went and bought like Have you ever had a Starbucks with oat milk? Yeah, you not you not no. now. See, I really like the flavor of oats, and so I love oat milk. So I went and bought oat milk, and then I went and bought like a couple of fa- flavored creamers, <laughs> and then uh, there's a couple of um, like Starbucks when they make your flavored drinks, they put like a pump of mm-hmm. you know the sweet yeah. stuff in so, sauce or whatever pure sugar. Yeah, has this replaced your ice? Obsession. No, no, that my ice obsession oh, with Dyke. Oh no, obsession. no, I only have. But that's a. I only do the one coffee in the morning, but I still do it. At home, but I do it at home now. But it's so, it's so good. So do you have it perfected? Pretty much. Okay, we'll prove it next time we have this. I'll bring you one. Bring a container of it, and Kurt and I will try it. Okay, Carter will. I will for sure. It's and oh, Mike, Mike duh. Now, Mike, are you a coffee drinker? <laughs> You are, but do you like sweet coffee? Okay, so he's not a foo foo coffee drinker, but yeah. it really is. And you like mm-hmm. now? Do you like espresso, Mike? Do you like espresso shots like the Jolt? Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. So I could at least bring that and let you guys try the espresso. Yeah. It's really, it's really good. But of course, I add all the things, and then I put ice in it and make an iced coffee with it. But it's mm-hmm. like frothy, and mm-hmm. it's very Starbuckish. Uh, without so, the bucks. <laughs> exactly. I and don't the know. cool th- and the yeah, cool thing was like sounds like she spent a lot of money on this stuff. No, too. but here no, so here's the thing. So here's the thing. So I bought I bought the the uh espresso, the powdered espresso, but I also bought a Nescafe. It's called it's also an instant, but it's called instant uh cold instant or something like that. And it they're similar, but the uh espresso's better, but they're similar, it, definitely in texture. They melt really easily in the water, and then in. But it's really good. So, so I bought both of those. I bought two of the um, flavored, uh, like so, they don't call it sauce, but whatever it is. I got a caramel and a vanilla, and then I got a vanilla creamer, my oat milk, and a white chocolate mocha creamer. Hmm. And uh, for all of that, which I don't know how many, it's going to make me several coffees was only 60 bucks i hope it makes you several 60 dollars what you say several what do you mean by several oh my goodness i mean like <laughs> the uh, the one big the one ice brew yeah. uh thing is like it's like a fairly big container oh, okay uh-huh. and then the other one is a little bit smaller but i only use two teaspoons per day and then um my oat milk and my creamers and then my syrup is what they're called hmm. Sounds foo-foo to me, Mike. <laughs> it's foo-foo, but it is so good. And Now, think about this, though. I was spending almost $300 a month at Yikes. Starbucks going every day. Wow. Yikes. This is $60 for all of that, that's and it. that's why I had to quit. Yeah. Wow. It was 200 and some dollars. What? Yes. Wow. Uh, trust me, what I prayed is- about it. <laughs> it was like, this is awful. What have I? I am not being a good steward of Perry's money. And, and he's so like, I quit. Amen on that one, and right? then Perry said, Hallelujah, sister. <laughs> so when I told Perry 60 bucks, he was like, Yeah, oh. this is good because I don't mean it's going to last me a while. Right. So much better. And it really was good. So huh. I wanted to share that with you. I just didn't know if y'all were. Oh, yeah. And that all came from Kylie. This Kylie Pitts on TikTok. Okay.
Wow. Talk about an influencer. Wow. Man. She influenced me. <laughs> Turned you around. <laughs> sure did. Got me off the cut, off, off the Starbucks. <laughs> Good so, for you. Anyway, Good so I just wanted to share that because I do love sh- when I find things that really I think that are good, you might not, like potted meat. <laughs> Mm. Not so much. You know, I don't see anybody influence on TikTok for potted meat. I think I'm going to start. I think that's what I'm I'm going to my TikTok and I'm going to start okay. being a potted meat influencer. I want to see how that goes. I'm going to see if I can make me some money. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm not. Anyway. All right, stay close. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back after this. Hi, folks. My name is Mike Richardson. I'm the producer of the WCSM General Store podcast. I'm the guy that Sheila waves to every Friday back in the corner, but you never see me. So it's about 1230. The gang will be here in about a half hour to do the podcast. But I wanted to jump on here before they got here. And I want to tell you about one of our sponsors. It's kind of an old and a new sponsor. Chad's Express Loop and Car Care Center is what we used to sponsor, but Chad's business, he wanted to focus in on something. So he sold the Express Loop, but he's focused in on the car care portion. And I want to tell you about Chad's Car Care Center. It's located at 2513 West 3rd Street. You know where that is. That's just up the street from the AMC 12, the 12th Theater on the west side, just right up the street, 2513 West 3rd Street, Chad's Car Care Center. Now, you know how expensive car care can be. You do not want to go to the dealer to have it fixed. They're good. They're just real expensive. Chad will do everything he can to keep your car repairs at the minimum. He does a great job. You'll drive your car in there and just a matter of an hour or so, they'll have you an estimate to tell you what it's going to cost. He'll do everything he can to keep the cost down low. I just recently took my truck in there and it was going to be pretty hefty, I'll be honest. But Chad and his crew, they were so knowledgeable, so experienced, they took care of that right away. Chad did everything possible to keep the cost down to a minimum. Anytime you need car repair or car care, take it over to Chad's Car Care Center, 2513 West 3rd Street. Again, right up the street from AMC 12 Theater. You know where that is, right over there in Bloomington. 2513 West 3rd Street, Chad's Car Care Center. Go check them out. For Good Reasons Roofing, that's the number four, goodreasons.com. They want to be your local hometown roofing specialist. Whether it's hail damage, storm damage, worn out and just plain old damage, or maybe it's new construction. Whatever your four reasons are to have a new roof, their four reasons are honesty, integrity, quality, and kindness. For Good Reasons Roofing, give them a call at 812-360-4469. They'll give you a free inspection and a transparent quote. You will be completely satisfied because Tony Pulliam will not let it be anything less than your satisfaction. Look for them at 4goodreasons.com. That's the number 4, goodreasons.com, or call them at 812-360-4469. 4 Good Reasons Roofing, your local hometown roofing specialist. Just want to take a moment to talk about our newest sponsor we're really excited about sanders insurance joining the gang here at wcsm's general store they are located at 5641 west state road 46 in ellettsville if you're familiar with that address it's because levi sanders their general agent has been at that location for quite a few years they are now an independent insurance agency which means they have access to the best companies that serve your particular needs each client is given a dedicated team that works together to address all of your concerns they offer all types of personal insurance coverages atv boat watercraft auto insurance even renters insurance so do you own a business 
give one of their agents a call. Start saving money on commercial insurance coverages, including apartment, building owners, builders risk, auto body shops, you name it. Sanders Insurance gives you the ability to choose the best carrier for your insurance needs. That's the main advantage to using an independent insurance agency. They'll work with the best to satisfy you. Give them a call, 812-876-7831, or visit them on the web at sandersinsurance.co and tell them the general store sent you. You'll be glad you did. Welcome back uh, from the break to the second half. So we were we were wrapping up the whole coffee conversation. And when we did, as we went to break, I was talking about potted meat. That's kind of a longstanding <laughs> joke, although it's not a joke because I actually do like canned meat. I, I, as you know, I like to smear it on um, saltines. You're, you're not just talking about spam. No, no. I mean the I, ground I can, like, yeah, no. I'll, yeah. I'll do spam, yeah. Yeah. which comes in a can. And no, this meat. is the stuff that looks like. Cat food. Cat. <laughs> Actually, cat vomit. Oh, but man. like armor potted meat. I love it. Love so it. This is more like a uh, <laughs> not chicken salad, but ham salad. Like, like kind of. It looks like a ham salad type texture. Yes. In, in a can. Yes. Right. Hmm. Yeah. I, and I really like it. it. I know it's so bad for me though because not only is the fat content high, salt, but the sodium has oh, got to be off yeah. the charts. Yeah. Which is why it's so good. Yes. I'll be honest. But anyway, so I was telling them on break that I've kind of started making my own potted meat, um, kind of, but it is really good. Now, you both like salmon? Yes. Oh, sure. I call it salmon. <laughs> I, I don't like making the You just got to be different. I, yeah. I just don't like making the L silent because it's just not fun. Salmon's really fun to say. Salmon. <laughs> salmon. But so what I do is I make a salmon dip. <laughs> and um, so I, I buy the... Uh, the canned salmon that is like the little cans that look like tuna, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So it's four uh, four of those. You drain it. And then uh, I use two uh, bricks of softened cream cheese. <laughs> but the... Uh, Coupe du jour. The, 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 like the <laughs> secret ingredient that makes it really bum, good. Bum, not bum. that that's not good enough by itself because right. I love both of those things. Right. Liquid smoke. Yeah. Which you've both used, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Um, which is kind of, uh, it, it's in your condiment aisle, like where your steak sauces and things like that would be. It's And I just get the hickory uh, flavored, but uh, pour that in there. I use a lot because I love the smoke because it's smoked salmon, right? Sure. And then I just use uh, my hand mixer and mix it up and then I spread it on the like Waverly, mm. like the like the Keebler way. Oh, that sounds crackers. wonderful. Can you bring some of that in? Yes, it <laughs> is. Along with really, the coffee. Really, yeah. really, yeah. really, it's really good. It sounds wonderful. <laughs> it really does. We're going to have us a smorgasbord <laughs> next time. <laughs> Mike has offered. Uh, see, Mike on the break came to me and said, I get it, because he's like a coffee aficionado. He really he's, is. He's way yeah. more than me. Like, he's yeah. got the the Nespresso maker and... Um, well, espresso and an espresso there's, maker. There's signs all yes, over the I think studio he loves about, the coffee. about coffee. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, if you're not one. shaking, you need another cup. Yes, That's my motto. Right. Yes. Apparently, it <laughs> yeah. is your motto. It Since is. you've had five shots of espresso today. Just give me the coffee and, and no one gets, gets hurt. hurt. Yes. So, yes. I mean, these are some thoughts. That so the next time, believes in. Uh, maybe not, I don't know if it'll be the next time or not, but in the in a, in a couple weeks, we'll I'll bring in my stuff to make my instant <laughs> okay. espresso uh, iced coffee. Mike's going to share his um, espresso stuff, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll bring you some salmon dip. I was going to say, don't forget the salmon. salmon. Yeah, the salmon dip's really good. So, it does sound wonderful. It, it really, really is good. Yeah. It's good. Uh, it goes pretty fast at our house. Garrett and I just ob- obliterate it. So um, there's a, there is a bowl of it in my refrigerator now. Or was when I left the house. It right. might might be gone, but I don't know. But anyway, so 
Uh, then we got to talking about, so you guys, you and Lori do salmon in your air fryer? Yes. Now, is it frozen or do you yes. put fresh in or what? So they so they come in these frozen pack packages. Yeah, right? I've seen that. Like there's yeah. a box and and it's already marinated inside mm-hmm. the, oh, the, okay. the, the the plastic package. Mm-hmm. So it's air airtight and so literally you you don't even have to defrost it. I mean it's it's you put it in into the air fryer frozen and mm. oh, it comes out man. like unbelievable. I, really? I just, it comes really? out like it, you just sit down at a restaurant. I mean it is that good. Now maybe it's that good on the on the grill or in the mm. oven. I don't know, but but the air fryer I want to try that does, so bad. I love gets salmon. All the heat through it. Um, How long are we talking? I don't think very long. Most things in an air fryer, eight minutes. Really. I mean, it seems like eight minutes is a pretty standard time. Wow. And and it's like an oven as far as temperature, right? Yeah. Yeah. Carter doesn't have one, and we're trying to convince him to get one. The heat comes from both sides, or all sides. Yeah, it's 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 almost like a convection oven type. flip. You know, Hmm. but it's, and it's healthier, right? Because you're using air and not oil or grease or whatever. Right, right. Uh, (laughs) So... Uh, yeah, and but it goes up. You know, you the highest on mine is like four hundred degrees. I think um, right. is that yeah. probably about yeah. right. Yeah. And most things, I think, really between <laughs> eight and ten minutes, unless you're warming, which is another great thing about the air fryer. Like you were saying, like now I can take my frozen French fries. That's how we make French fries at the house now, is in the air fryer. But you were saying I've never done this. Like if you get go to McDonald's and get their fries and you don't eat them all. You cannot warm those up They're in nasty. the microwave. They're awful. Oh, oh. But you've actually thrown them in the air fryer yeah. and crisps them, which doesn't it, surprise me because that's kind of what it does. It, it really it? gives them a new life. It really, it does. really does. Yeah. Now you don't want to overdo Lazarus it. Fries. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Lazarus fries. Yes. Lazarus fries. Yes. But yes. It, it really, you don't want to overdo it. I mean, uh, you can. You yeah. could. Yeah. You could. Yeah. You know, crisp them up too. That would much. not be an eight minute. Mm-hmm. No. You know what I mean? Like, no. That right. would be more of a three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe four. But yeah. It yeah. And pizza right is life. really good too because like you know pizza gets soggy when you warm yes. it up the next day in the yeah. microwave. Mm-hmm. I can do that in the microwave. Right. But if you want it nice, it, yeah. it really it needs to be in a nice. It can chewy kind of, in a microwave. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yes, I think so too. But I, a, a, an air fryer can take it back to almost like. Right out, fresh right. out of you the it. pizza yeah. mm. so good. store is really mm. good. So yeah. yeah, anxious to see if if what you and Amy think if you get an air fryer. And I think any brand we will be just from what you guys have said. <laughs> oh, we will be getting one. Yeah. I think they're. I think they really have kind of. Not that people don't still use microwaves, but I don't think microwaves are as relevant in a kitchen as they used to be. Mm. I think it's more people are using air fryers. A lot, because wow. uh, they're they are healthier, you know. Um, you can cook easy. healthier, and they're easy. It's easy, yeah. Um, so, and they're faster than your. Oh it, yeah, it the cuts oven. it cuts your sure. your time down a little bit than right. baking it in an yeah, oven, right? Or right. Whatever. How's you don't use as much electricity with it. Too. You, you, Is it messy? Yeah, can be. Yeah, you have to take precautions yeah. uh, with it because you don't want like you could put your uh, like your barbecue wings yeah, in yeah. there, and you'd lose a lot of the. Of the stuff, you know, of marination. Uh, Get yourself so, some parchment paper. Yes. is good to put in there. Aluminum foil works or as aluminum well. Aluminum foil. Yeah. Okay. So you you know help out with the mess there. But yeah, mm. good point. Yeah. Um, they're not. They're they're not hard to clean. No. I usually just kind of shake it out. <laughs> you know, yeah. and let let it go. Like because mine, I think mine is an instant pot brand, and it's got a grate that pulls out, and mm. then yeah, but. Uh, yeah, they can get messy. So yeah. clean them more often than not. <laughs> right. But but I think they're wonderful. And the good thing I like about uh, about them, and also just my instant pot. Do you have an instant pot? I don't think so. It's like a pressure cooker. I think he, we bought one. He got arrested for that. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. Twenty five years ago. Instant pot. Right. You went to jail pot. for that. That's so right. He he didn't like to talk about it. I know. It's okay. I didn't know we were going to talk about <laughs> drugs on this. I'm mean, going guys. <laughs> She's talking about an that appliance was last partner. week. I mean, so, you know. so you like instant pot, but you don't like instant coffee. <laughs> right, okay, okay, right, whatever. Hey, pot's natural. Well, coffee is too. Right? Totally, yeah, right, right. Totally. No, but but my instant pot and the air fryer, you can both both of those things. You can cook meat mm. from frozen from the which, can. <laughs> yes, right, right, exactly. But no, I like because I'm really bad about planning in advance for dinner and then all of my meat is in the freezer and it's like I okay I can't have that tonight because my meat's right. still frozen mm-hmm. but if it's chicken or things like that like um, you could, couldn't do ground beef but you could do 
pork chops or anything like that, you can throw in either of those, and it'll cook them from frozen, which is incredible. In eight minutes? Yeah. I don't, yeah. Well, yeah, salmon I mean, is so probably a, just, yeah. It just depends on not how. as dense of a meat. So right. pork chops maybe, um, but chicken, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I don't know how many like barbecue wings you can eat. Oh. Yeah, I know. That's oh, what yeah. I'm saying. So oh. it might take a little bit longer for, yeah. for guys like us, <laughs> right. right? So I mean, right. The more you put in it, yeah, of course, for sure. yeah, definitely, definitely. But but I think that Sam, like huh. Sam, I'm thinking she puts it in there for like ten minutes, twelve minutes, maybe. Yeah, that's like too so, good to be true. So wow. good. Yeah. 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 So. I would encourage. Both of those people, a lot of people, and I get it completely because my mom cooked a lot in the old school pressure cookers that had the little thing on top that jiggled. Yeah. And those things, like, they're dangerous, right? Uh, (laughs) And and, and a lot of people have, (laughs) yes, been injured by those. We survived. And don't get me wrong, an instant pot can be dangerous too. They are a pressure cooker, the same thing. But. I think they're really pretty easy to use, and the whole thing is um, just don't open it until yeah. all the pressure's off, right? I mean, that's <laughs> so I just let it sit and let it naturally release, and, and really like about, it. Are you talking about that thing right there? No, is that different? No, that's a that's an electric skillet. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Love those two, but it said, good, to say it said, "What would mom make in this bad boy? Fried Some chicken. fried chicken that's that's mom that <laughs> with Crisco." And oh, the you can best. See that in oh, so. Crisco! You guys remember Crisco the days? Best oh. fried chicken. Ooh. Yep, yep. That makes yeah. me hungry. Do you know where Crisco came from? Up. Do you know where the Jesus? No, actually, no. I think it came from <laughs> Satan. But it was like it was IGA? it was inc- <laughs> it was um, created by the same people that created like engine oil and stuff oh great that's what it is that's i mean it's so bad for you wow now don't get me wrong i love me some crisco and that's what i used to make my pie crust with but it's it's a seed oil it's not Uh, there it's not healthy at all but bummer anyway Mm. so so there you have it but anyway yeah i'm anxious to see if you guys do get the air fryer and if you use it as much as we do i'm still thinking about your salmon dip um, I'll bring uh, in a, it, 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 I'll try it at least in a couple of weeks to oh, bring in not so salmonella, salmonella. Right. Yeah, no 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 it's so good if you salmon bring that it. I can bring some banana bread that's that's oh, usually good that's, yes that's so <laughs> yes Mike <laughs> yeah. me a butt. now Mike Mike's do you fan. like do you like nuts uh, walnuts in your banana bread <laughs> yes, me too. Like, yeah. load it up. I like I, but I'm, I like the walnuts in my brownies and my chocolate chip cookies and everything. Right. But right. I'm the only one in my house. I'm the only one in my house that'll eat nuts like that. Yeah, or coconut. I love mm. coconut too. Do you like coconut? Not so much. No. No. Usually the way that they. Like cut it up as more like fingernails to me. Yeah, uh, you know that's uh, a good point. I wish they'd quit doing that now. Now there, uh, <laughs> there's been some packaging. Maybe I, I saw it at Costco <laughs> or Sam's Club, where it's it's a little bit bigger of a piece. Of so coconut. it looks more like a toenail. So, toenail. So, toenail. That's so it's right. It's more like a toenail. Or so, more right. like a finger. Actually, like oh. like a like. A, oh, they were that finger. big. Yeah. Like slivers. So it's like slivers. Yes, and they are. I'm sure sugar coated. You know, with whatever. But mm, it no. is a. <laughs> <laughs> you are talking. You need a minute. You are speaking my language. You need a minute. No, I love. I'll find them. I'm going to find these. I love. Ooh. And Mike also likes coconut. Yeah, he likes coconut. But I love like Almond Joys and uh, Mounds uh, candy bars both. But nobody in my house will eat them. So I buy those because. <laughs> nobody else will eat them. <laughs> nobody. Or coconut cream pie is my absolute favorite. And it's the oh, one pie I bring into I, the house that I get to eat all of. I like coconut cream pie as long as you don't. Have the chunk, yeah, the little shred, yeah. I'm, I'm and see, that's what Griffin said. Griffin's yep, like, you know, I, I could the probably, I could probably uh, enjoy the flavor of coconut. It's a textural thing yeah. for him, yeah. Which totally. I get it, I get that. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Boom, boom. Sometimes, Sometimes you don't. Nope. Do. Oh, man, and Joey got nuts. Mouth don't because. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Oh. There you go. Well, we'll just wrap it up with that. That's a nice way to take us out. Awesome. So much. Oh, by the way, we miss Mark and Bill. They could not be with us. Uh, we are always so uh, so glad to have Carter join us. Oh. I'm glad you're awake. I am, for once. Oh, he's yeah. got the coffee in him. I think he's, he's going to join us next week. So uh, let's see if he gets five shots uh, next week. Too, you know to that's going to happen. So that's you know, Maybe six. You never know. That's right. Yeah. Hey. More power to you, man. That's right. Coffee. Coffee power. Coffee. Right, Mike? Coffee. Yes. Okay. Hey, we love you. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us. 
And if it's God's will, we'll be back next week to do it all again here at the General Store.